Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm actually in my studio right now, which is why the location of my filming setup is a little bit different. But in today's video, I wanted to get ready and tell you guys my unmedicated hospital birth story. I recently just had a baby eight weeks ago and I gave birth to her in a hospital, but I uh, did not use any pain management. So like no epidural and stuff like that. And in general, I just wanted to do a positive birth story and um, yeah, so if you're interested in this type of video, then let's get started I'm gonna start doing my makeup and kind of telling you guys everything that I went through and everything that happened Personally, I just love watching videos like these. I, I am kind of shifting my channel a little bit more towards everything that is like interesting to me and everything that's like kind of going on in my life to be more relatable and not just keep it so niche down to makeup and i hope that is okay with you guys so i was about 38 weeks um and three days and it was a friday night i was actually taking a nap and i woke up with some cramping I didn't think anything of it because like that whole week I was kind of cramping um, the entire week and I just didn't really think anything of it. I didn't realize that cramping is actually like contractions. So I woke up with some cramping. I went to the bathroom and my water basically broke. I did not think it was my water, but I called the hospital and you know i let them know like what was happening and all of that and at that time my, my husband also got home from work at around 5 30 so i also told him like what happened and the hospital basically told me to just come in so they can check me to see if i'm contracting and to see what that water was and so i ended up cooking dinner finishing cooking dinner we had dinner and then we went to the hospital i was a little bit freaking out at that point only because we did not have our hospital bag packed we did not have her car seat installed we did not have her bassinet ready we like had nothing ready i don't know we were kind of just doing things like super last minute i feel like and so that was the only like stressful thing that was like stressing me out a little bit but basically we got to the hospital they tested the liquid and they did confirm that it actually was my water in fact that was broken and they told me that I had two choices. I could either stay in the hospital and they could monitor me. And, um, you know, and as the labor progressed, like we would obviously go into labor and give birth. Or they told me that I could go home and kind of wait it out and wait for the contractions to get stronger. Basically, I told them that I wanted to go home. I knew I wanted to have a natural labor. So i knew i didn't want to be in the hospital setting i wanted to kind of be home up until my contractions got stronger and that is what i ended up doing i actually went home that night and our friends came over and they uh, built the bassinet well my husband like built the bassinet with our friend and then and then they went and they installed the car seat and we like cleaned and i packed our hospital bags it was like this whole thing at that point my contraction started to get a little bit stronger and but it was like bearable so i ended up being at home and spent the night at home but i didn't sleep obviously because my contractions began to be just a little bit stronger so i was um keeping track of them on my phone and on this like app that i found just waiting until they get about five minutes apart so i can go to the hospital so by around 6 30 a.m on the next day october 21st i told my husband that we have to go to the hospital because at that point i literally couldn't take it anymore like they were getting stronger and stronger i started to get dressed by that point that i was in a lot of pain bearable but you know it was still pretty painful so he was kind of helping me to get dressed and we started driving to the hospital just for reference the hospital was about 20 minutes away 15 minutes away from our house so we got to the hospital and we were slowly making our way from the parking lot to the hospital because my contractions were pretty strong so we had to walk when the contractions would stop and every time they would pick up we would have to stop because i literally couldn't move so we got to the hospital and then the reality hit me that i was like oh crap i wanted a natural birth i had a whole birth plan in my birth plan i put down that i did not want to have an epidural i didn't want to be monitored the entire time i wanted intermittent monitoring of the baby so they could just check on her heart as i progressed and so i was like oh so i'm just gonna sit here and 
feel this pain until she's here. <laughs> it like kind of hit me, you know? Thankfully, my hospital did have the option of giving or not giving birth in a bathtub, but utilizing the bathtub for like, you know, while you're in labor. So I was able to get into the bathtub. It had like jets and stuff. So it like made me feel a little bit better to be in there so i ended up spending the majority of time actually in the bathtub it made me feel so much better however i could not give birth in there so i was in there for about like maybe three to four hours and they told me you know when you feel like you're ready to push like go ahead and get out of the bathtub so we can start pushing and i felt the urge to push and I got out of the bathtub and I was pushing on the bed and honestly I was very lucky that my hospital like really followed my birth plan to the T they were so respectful of everything that I wanted and everything that I asked for I really wanted to experience labor and kind of do my best to do it naturally and try and be in tune with my body and I was thankfully able to do that and I then started pushing whenever I like felt the urge to and it was painful <laughs> it was really really painful but again like but again like looking back I feel like it was like I feel like it was like manageable pain and like doable pain so I think the most painful thing for me was like as the baby was like coming out as she was coming out you know I'm sure you can imagine like that's really really painful so that was like what was the most painful part for me i kind of you know had the thought of like giving up like sort of halfway through when i was in the bathtub because you know it's it hurts and you know you just don't know when is this gonna end so i was like in there and i was like oh my god i was like i don't know if i can do this and i was like asking the midwife about epidural how it works but I didn't end up getting one. I did try laughing gas. I tried it like twice, like two inhales, and I did not like it. I did not like the way it made me feel. I know it works for some people. Uh, my friend actually used it and she like loved it. So it worked for her. But for me, it actually like made me feel worse and I just did not want to do it. I also know a lot of people can throw up from the pain and I was that was not the case for me. I did not um, throw up. I kind of felt nauseous at one point, but I did not throw up. I felt nauseous, but I had like lemon essential oils with me. So I actually um, took the lemon essential oil and kind of like inhaled it and it kind of made me feel better and not so nauseous anymore. Prior to also giving birth, my husband and I did take hypnobirthing classes together and i feel like if you want to do more of a natural approach to birth even if you are getting the epidural that's okay um it's still a very helpful class to take i felt like because it really helped me kind of understand the process of birth and have an open mind and also eliminate fear like i was not nervous or fearful at all about giving birth which i think is very very helpful like i can't imagine being like afraid of giving birth you know what I mean so that class was very very helpful in terms of like what can happen what you can expect and things like that especially if it's your first baby which was the case for us so long story short I felt like I was pushing for like a decent amount it wasn't like too long but it also wasn't you know super quick I also had to like learn how to push because I felt like I didn't like wasn't doing it correctly in the beginning and it was painful so like i didn't want to push but you know you have to push to get the baby out the better you push the sooner it's over with so i feel like i wasn't really trying my best in the beginning but you know eventually i like did okay i just realized i forgot my um eye brushes and i kind of don't really want to use the brushes in my kit so i'm just trying to make this work <laughs> somehow so then you know when your baby is born like after that feeling is like a feeling of euphoria for me at least that's how i felt you know in that moment and i didn't really you don't feel like the pain you don't feel really anything that's happening other than the fact that you now have your baby in your arms so for me it was a really really nice feeling and i like couldn't believe i did it <laughs> and i couldn't believe that i did it without pain management um, you know, it was simply through like breathing exercising exercises and also like trying to like focus on like what's happening and trying to be in tune with my body. And you know, looking back, I 
realized that it truly is doable and I have like two friends who gave birth without an epidural. They also had a great experience for me. I went into this with an open mind that if I wanted to get the epidural, it's totally okay and nothing wrong with getting one. So I wasn't like going to beat myself up if I wanted one. It was really interesting because I spoke to two nurses over there and they two, both of them had very different opinions. One of them said, you know, why torture yourself? Like just get the epidural and whatnot. And the other one said she had five kids and she gave birth to four of them without an epidural. And then she gave birth to the fifth one with an epidural. And she was like, I did not like it. I did not like how the way it made me feel. I did not like that I wasn't in control. So she preferred to give birth without an epidural because I feel like it's different for everybody. Some people want it and it literally doesn't work on them or for them. So super different for everybody. For me, the biggest like takeaways and the biggest advice I have if you would like to give birth naturally and without any interventions is do your research, educate yourself, have your partner be on the same page as you and also take um, hypnobirthing classes. I mean, I feel like that goes with like education. I feel like the more the more you know, the better. So that's what helped me. I did also use a labor comb. Actually, I forgot to mention that I used it the entire time that I was in labor. Um, I don't know if it helped. I don't know if it was just in my head, but I used it. I had it in my hand and I, you know, squeezed it every time there was like a peak of contraction. So who knows? Maybe it helped. Maybe it was in my head, but I did use it and I got mine on Amazon. I'll link it for you guys along with the essential oils and all of that. And it was also really interesting because I actually got baptized the day before I went into labor, which I thought was like so interesting and it kind of made me emotional, but that is what happened and I just did not expect that. So I gave birth to her at 38 weeks in about three days. I didn't want to do a nude today. I wanted to do a little bit of color, but I don't know if I'm regretting that now. <laughs> Maybe I'll mix it in with a nude after all. <laughs> I think this color will do. So anyways, you guys, that is my quick birth story. I didn't go into like a lot of details. I'm trying to just remember everything now. It's been eight weeks and you know, whatever I can remember, I try to mention. Um, but I overall had a great experience. I feel really proud of myself for being able to do it. And I feel very thankful to have a good, you know, birth and, really blessed really to have a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby so it was an overall great experience and i'm also very very thankful for the hospital just because again having a natural birth and minimal interventions in the hospital i feel like sometimes can be tricky but my hospital was incredible my midwife was incredible and it was an overall just an amazing experience and i would 100 percent do this again and in the same hospital. To be honest with you, right after I gave birth, I literally was like, no more children. I don't want a second one. I never want to feel this pain again. But everybody was like, you'll forget the pain. Like, you'll do this again. And I was like, no. But obviously, like now, like it's only been eight weeks and I feel like I could do this again. I already like forgot what it feels like to be pregnant, like to be honest with you. So it's definitely like a weird th thing us women sometimes can go through, but that was my experience. I hope it was somewhat interesting and helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And if I think of anything else or any other topics relating to this, I may do a part two for this video. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.